Hello, and welcome to the Washington State University Decision Aid System Virtual Help Series. My name is Dave Crowder, and today I'm going to walk you through the new alerting feature we developed for 2023. Once you have registered for DAS and selected your weather stations, mine are seen here, you can click on the My Alerts tab at the left side of the page to set up your alerts. It will take you to the page seen here. At the top of the page, we have a description of all of the available alerts and how they relate to management. For now, we have alerts related to codling moth, fire blight, oblique banded leaf roller, parasilla, and western cherry fruit fly. For example, with codling moth, you may want alerts at the start of adult emergence, the beginning of first generation egg hatch, or the beginning of larval development to help you time your mating disruption, ovicide, and larvicide treatments respectively. For each of the insect pests, alerts are available 7 to 14 days ahead of time, and for fire blight, alerts are available 3 days ahead of time. You can set up these alerts on a station-by-station -station basis. Here we can see my available stations, and I will use the Attainum station as an example. If you want to receive alerts by email, you do not need to do anything on this page, but if you want to receive alerts by phone, you will have to add a phone number to your profile, either by clicking the Profile tab on the left side of the screen or clicking on the link seen here. That will take you to your profile and you can enter your phone number here and that warning message will go away. To set an alert, I can select it from the drop down menu. Here I will select Codling Moth First Adult Emergence, and then I can set the warning interval to 7, 10, or 14 days. I'll set it to 14 days. And then I can select whether I would like the alert via phone, email, or both. When I've set up my alert the way I want it, I click the Add button. Additional alerts can then be added and alerts can be deleted if you no longer need them. When you set up alerts, you will receive a text message or email at the appropriate time that will provide a link to the DAS system and the appropriate model. We hope this tool will help DAS users get an early warning of when key events will occur on the DAS platform. We hope this video was helpful in aiding you set up your alerts, and we'll see you next time.